Mounting a secondary regulator inside your kegerator helps to free up space if you previously kept your regulator and nitrogen or CO2 tank inside the fridge. Begin by positioning the secondary regulator on the back wall of the kegerator and mark spots with a sharpie through the mounting bracket. Then using a metal drill bit, drill small holes in these spots. Before drilling these holes, please make sure you don't have any refrigeration lines running in this part of the fridge. Remove the plug on the back of the fridge and feed your gas hose in from the outside. Then use four quarter inch sheet metal screws to mount the secondary regulator on the back wall of the fridge. Outside of the fridge, place an Oedeker clamp or warm clamp around the hose, then insert your 5 16 inch barbed swivel nut and clamp it tight to the hose. We always recommend using a quarter inch tailpiece washer when connecting to these MFL fittings to ensure no leaks. Screw your swivel nut onto your regulator, which will be attached to your nitrogen tank or CO2 tank, which will now stay outside of your fridge. Now that your gas tank is outside of the fridge, you have the option of getting a much larger tank if needed. Back inside the fridge, connect your gas line assemblies to the threaded fittings on your secondary regulators. To set the pressure on the secondary regulator, pull the handle outward to unlock it, then screw clockwise to increase the pressure and push back in to lock in place. Once you have both pressures set, Whatever the higher of the two pressures is, make sure that your primary regulator is set at least to that pressure. We typically set our primary regulator 5 to 10 PSI higher than the highest gauge of the secondary regulator. Here we have the highest pressure set at 40 PSI on the secondary regulator, and we have the primary regulator set at 45 PSI. 